So today, this is our project. This scene of outdoor and water and a gray blue sky was something that I did by pencil, color pencils, a while ago. A while home, I decided that, you know what, I'd like to do it on a piece of canvas and kind of use my imagination some more with what I have here. So I'm going to show you how to do this piece on canvas. Let's go on the ride. Um, as you can see, I drew that piece a while ago um, outside on a rainy day. And um, it was a beautiful tree that had um, very, very little leaves. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, it was the grape leaf tra tr um, tree. But um, it had such intricateness in the movement that it, um, it memorized. I, I got so excited, I should say, about it. So we're going to now do that, and I'm going to try to copy what I've done on, from the paper onto the canvas. So here are my colors. I have some earth colors down, and I have some my colors for my sky, okay? I'm just going to work from my palette. So here we go. And my brush was washed a while ago. So it's a little wet, so you'll notice that it's um, moving the paint around. And so it's just randomly I'm gonna place my blue, going back into the white. Um, got some missing colors and things like that. So I'm just gonna do the whole entire thing to maybe to the bottom almost of my paper. I'm gonna use a tissue to soften and move my sky around. So if you don't have the proper brush, just make sure you have a napkin soft. Look, those soft napkins are good. And as you can see, so I'm gonna just keep coming down a little bit more. And I'm putting in my color very lightly because like I said, it was a rainy day. So I'm gonna play around with it a little. Washing my brush off and with another brush, white. I'm going to now use some white. And I just wanna mark out right now. It's gonna be hard because my canvas is wet. So I'm gonna make it, I'm trying to put some, some um, clouds in where I want it. There'll be no sun, just clouds here and there. Put some white down here. Again, with the tissue, just moving it up and down. So, while it's going through drying a little, I'm now going to sketch out my tree. So I have a, a pencil that's a little dull. The reason I want it to be a little dull is because I want to leave the marks of the pencil onto, onto my canvas so that when I put it together. So let's start with what I see. And tree root. Here right within this, this, the same level, I have another tree piece. And I, I always like the way trees are because it almost looks like the human body, more feminine than ever. So, I've got one tree going like that, and we have the other one. And just, you know, twists and turns with knots. So 
So there we go. And then we have another piece that turns, kind of go around itself. So there we go. And we're showing the outline of our tree, right? Well, there's more than one tree on here, so I'm going to start this off where it's. Oops. It's going to go like that. And what we're going to have is a sand line. So I'm going to stop my sand line here and here. And I hope you can see that. So I have an horizon, and then I have my sand line down here. And you can see my tree, it's in the forefront. So you can see the different dimensions of it. So what I'm doing is I'm just outlining where I need to work when I get my paints on, and how I need to work on them. Right over here, Maybe on the mount, closest to the water, we have a palm piece going up. This piece, it's, its leaves dance through the area, so we're going to make sure that we place it, place it here. We're going to place another palm here. We're going to maybe place another palm here. And then we'll have one palm here. And we'll have one palm here. Okay? So I have my tree, I have my background set in, and now I'm going to go in and manipulate with some colors. So this is where I will now start using my earth colors. I'm going to start playing around with the tree trunks. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, here we go. So I am dabbling in my brown and now I'm going to bring my brown here. And I'm just kind of Doing it lightly with the brush. Yeah. So I'm highlighting all the places that, and you notice I'm going in the direction that I think if it's a hollow area, I need my strokes to also go in the same direction as as, um, as the movements of the trunk and the root of the tree is, right? So here we go. This then becomes that part of the tree. And we want to make sure, so we're going to do it. And as you can see, I'm just following my pencil outline so that now we see what we're working with. All right. See what we're working with. We have another piece of that tree comes around and it kind of wraps itself around like this so and I'm trying to like I said I always follow the directions of what I have penciled out so I'm just giving you that whole idea of how my tree is there we go. 
So I'm gonna use my dry brush and just merge in a little, soften my lines around the tree. Um, some people like, um, isn't it? But I'm going up underneath it. I'm using my dry brush right now. So I want it to be as light as possible. This is just giving me the contours of my, my tree. So you see, as it's, you can see all my movements. You can see all the things that I'm doing to make sure that I have the impression and the design of my tree. There we go. So I'm going to take some white now. I'm going to go in with the white, and this is where I'm going to start really bringing out the character of the tree. It's not perfect. A little more white. like to do it since this is like I'm looking at it from underneath I remember sitting there that day that I was drawing it and I had to kind of move my head around to look around to see the, the back of the tree see what might be happening on the sides that I can't see so that's as I'm doing this I'm thinking of that right now a little more white and I'm doing that so we can start bringing out the roundness and the texture of the tree. This part is very important because she goes over. She goes over, so I want to show her going over. And then she kind of ripples out like that. And she goes under and bends under here. over here and we're going to texturize it a little so I'm just going to go up on it and, you know palm trees they're not they're like a little taking a little dark color and again I'm using the the, the brown the amber color to kind of go around my edges so it's not so definite, but that you can see the roundness of it. See that? Went all the way up. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, I'm going to go over. I'm going to bring my palm tree up. So, I'm gonna get my, see? 
doing the edges like that. So I just kind of come down on it again to give it that effect. I want to separate it. So I'm going to go into with my black. And so I'm going to put it in there. This is the shadow. So you can kind of see. You don't want it to be so distinct. I'm going to just get that just on the corners. I'm staying my brush in this direction so it's right on the corner doing the same thing brushing it in brushing it in brushing it in and I keep the brushing it in what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna make it very distinctive right here washing my brush off all right now so do that gotta get some grays and the palm tree kind of have markings right mark them across That's how I have it on my thing. I just have to mark it. I'm just randomly going. There's a lot of tricks to this also. <laughs> and you can wait for it to. You wait for it to dry. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm so much into my art. <laughs> so I'm just going slightly, very slowly. Go up and mark it. After I mark it, put the box on, I'll look at it. And in some cases, I know that it's um, all right. So, with my dry brush again, I'll go into some parts of it, move it around, move it around. Move it around a little and just to get it more so I'm going to take a little white now and I'm going to go in and I'm going to go in just softening up my lines a little with my white yeah. All right, so my palm tree is kind of set up. So now I'm going to go back to my main tree over here. And I have a smaller brush that I'm using now because I'm going to go into these areas. So I'm going to be working with the black and the brown together. And start separating. Let's see. And I don't dip in too many times. I kind of just um, work with it in that manner. With it. And just, just brush it up. Just brush it up. He's got a lot of little missing areas, so it's not perfect. So I'm gonna wash it up. 
and I'm coming over because I'm assuming this part will be a little bit, you'll be able to see it on this side. See how I work that out? And I, I'm rounding it out. And I'm brushing it up so it's not so heavy. Going up, going down, pulling it in, and kind of just blending things together. Make a little black. I'm going to use the the black and the dark brown to blend some of these shapes and character of the tree. You know, trees have a lot of character. So, and when I put the white on, it's to give me open spaces so I can come back with my black and I can outline some things. I can make some things look as though it's, um, you know, see? I'm doing it like that. Like that. Doing it like that. A little bit like that. Okay. But I wanted to show it. So here we go. I'm going to go in with my brown because I'm imagining this is under. Absolutely no sun is on this part. You see how I'm blending it? character of my tree. And you can, you know, just very lightly let your brush, it's not perfect. Now I'll go in with some black. some shadow in here and then we're gonna take the black and we're gonna come down just kind of play with it like that around the edges and I like to like I remember I told you before I like to use my my tissue napkin to give me some of the textures that I'm looking for. that are already darkened. I'm just going to come down and play with it a little. Play with it a little. Blend it. Blend in. Blend in. Blend in. 
Right. And go with the black, cutting in, showing some depth, and some, some movements, so you can see the roots of the tree. And wherever, because as you're working with it, your brush will probably leave spaces and where you see your spaces and where you can come in and make some definitions, that's where you do it. Now I'm gonna kind of come across here a little because I wanna show. Again, remember, so I wanna show a little difference in the, in the tree. thinking of the tree, just thinking of all the things I would see, the broken wood parts, parts that um, when I get to, the, to this part I rub it in this direction so you can see that it's a humpy piece that's there and you can see that it goes up, see that it comes down. getting rustic type tree effect here. So put it, make sure. We're characterizing our tree. Now we gotta get into the back part of it here. So of it. Again. I'm going to do this part. And when I get here, I want to make it a little darker here so you can see that it's separated. The dark part will go in and the lighter part of where I've done it will stand out. I have a little black paint on my my brush. I try to use it where I can remember I'm supposed to make it dark since I have some paint on the brush already. So now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to separate again and I'm going to kind of just bring it out. Bringing it out. And I'm gonna get some brown here. And this piece of wood is a little bumpy and lumpy. So we're gonna make it just like it is. Bumpy and lumpy. Rinse off my brush, take off some of the excess darkness because I'm going to use the same brush. Wipe it off a little, my paper. And then I'm going to go in with my white because I want to pull in some white in here. White gives me some, you know, contouring, kind of brings out parts of where I want it to be not so dark. Merges with this. Just 
just look for a shape. Get that shape going. Let's get that shape going. And I'm not making it, I'm utilizing my wrists a lot to just give me my color and my texture of my tree. Here again, I'm gonna use the dark color to show movements. So, dark color up here. And all darkness in here. Everywhere I have the darker brown. Just putting it on there. And I don't care if my Darkness comes over there because remember I said it's a it's a cloudy day, so a little black in the in the sky will help me. Working on it as I see it. Take my make that woody, distressy feel. Dragging the paint because it's drying a little. So I wait for it to dry a little so I can drag it around a little. Here we go. And we're gonna have a little one here. little autumn color in there you know, so see that it's going through many changes yeah I have the white parts Blending, wherever I see things looking as though it's not, it's too stiff. I'm taking out the stiffness, I'm blending it. I'm looking for the characteristics of my tree. And I'm blending. Pulling and I'm blending. And I like to wait for it to be a little dry so I can move it force it to move, and when you force it to move, it gives you this whole other feel. There we go. And I always play around with the Play around with the, the overall feel of how I think tree is growing and I kind of remember trees that I see outside. So even if you don't have all the characteristics from your drawing that you had before, just keep your mind on what trees look like. Okay, so here we go. When you put the darkness on and then you take another, like the brown and put it over it, you kind of get that behind separation feeling. 
back. So that's what I'm doing here now. I'm separating. distinctively see that this is this and this is this hmm? see it coming together here it is coming together for us there Oh, we still have another piece of the tree, so we're gonna now get in there real quick. And we're going to start giving it its, its meaning. Here we go. In the meantime, my palm tree is, um, drying and in its dryness now this one I want to use some white here because it kind of it's bend in all sorts of ways and it is straight twisted around this part of the tree so we're gonna show you the twist Show you the twist so that you can see. See that? So it's coming around, and you can see that there's a twist. I'm going to deepen right in here so you can see that this part goes in. So I'm going to deepen it by going up into it like that. See? And then leaving the edges here I'm gonna get some black here and I'm gonna put the line here back and then she comes out here twist and again I'm gonna wipe this off I still want my brush to stay with some of the darkness on it so I want to use parts of it to show you so, wetting it, putting like, my okra color on with some white, and I'm gonna push, pull it over. So you notice I use other colors that are as light um, as the white, not necessarily have to be white. So you can mix your, your brown colors up. I wanna show you that this is an edge so to show that it's bent, I'm just gonna take a little white. I'm just gonna put it here. And I have to show you that this follows in here. I'm gonna put a little edge there. And then to show you that it comes out here. I'm gonna blend it in a little. Again, we want to show you that this dips a little. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make sure that we get some kind of edging here, here, here. Putting in the deepness. And I use my brushes each way just to be able to get me the effect I'm, I need and looking for. And 
it has. And I just look that the, sometimes the, the work that you've done give you the characters that you're looking for and you just, oh, you say, oh, wow, look at that. I didn't know that I was gonna see that. So, now that I see it, I said, oh, I'm gonna utilize that look that it naturally gave me. Again. And I use this to pull on it a little. I'm gonna go into my brown, I'm gonna go into a little of my white, and now I'm gonna show all the colors of the wood. Tree bark. And I use my brush very lightly. Very lightly. I'll put a little darkness in here. Because it shows me there's some darkness here. And again, I wait for it to dry a little bit more and then we're gonna pull it. Pull it. There we go. Now I go back over here and I'm gonna define it, define some of the things that I didn't get, but as it dries, it's showing me, like look Winston, look at this. You could do this and you could do this. Interesting tree, no? Huh? I'm gonna use a thin brush now, just for my little pieces down here so you can see them. See that? Just to show you my little pieces here. And that's the end of my art, my natural art. Ah. We want to take a little of it also, and we want to put it on a couple of the palm leaves just to highlight them a little. If it was a sunny day, we'd probably do a little yellow and a little black, but you can kind of see these because of the kind of day it is. So here we go. And there we are. We are. We have. Can you see that? Look at that. We have a beautiful scene on the banks of a beach area that not a lot of people come to. And that is our masterpiece. And you see, hopefully you notice how I use my colors. I didn't switch them around. And how I first started with just outlining and then blending and pulling together and using my tissue and using my primary colors that I want to use here. Enjoy this moment of being home and utilize 
your creativity by looking around the house again, as I said, to something you might have done before and you want to do it over again, and you have some canvas, and you have something that you can work on, work on it and create. Follow my directions. Thank you.